Hello friends, welcome to Piping Engineers. In today's video, we will learn about the basic piping interview questions that are asked in a piping interview. So if you are preparing for any of the piping interview and want to learn what can be asked to you, so do watch this video. For more videos and updates, please like, follow and subscribe to our channel. So let's begin our today's video and learn about the questions that can be asked to you in a piping interview. So the first question here is, what is the ASME code used for process piping? The SME code used for process piping is ASME B13.3. So all the process piping is done as per ASME B13.3. So this is the code for process piping. So if someone asks you what is the code for power piping, the code for power piping is ASME B31.1. All the power piping is done as per ASME B13.1. So moving on to next, ASME B16.5 is used for so this question means what the SME B16.5 is the standard for which thing? So it is the standard for CS flanged couplings, flanged fittings. So the carbon steel, uh, cast steel flanged fittings are categorized as for SME B16.5. Their dimension, it is SME B16.5 is their dimensional standard. It tells us that what will be the OD of the flange, what will be the thickness of the flange, how many bolts will be there in the flange, and what are the different pressure ratings of the flange. So if anyone asks you, if you are having a cast steel uh, flanges, which standard will you refer? So you will be referring 16.5. So this is for cast steel. So if, if someone asks you, if I, am, if I am having cast iron flanges, so which standard I will refer to? I will refer to 16.1. 16.1 is for cast iron flanges. And 16.5 is applicable up to DN600. So if someone asks you, which standard will we refer if we are having a flanges greater than size DN600? So we will be referring 16.47. 16.47 is also a flange flanges standard that is applicable for large dia flanges. 16.47. So moving on to next, for, from which size NB of pipe is equivalent to audio pipe? So this is 14 inch. From 14 inch, my NPS is equal to the OD of the pipe. Suppose my 14 inch means DN350 my 14 inch into when we will be changing this 14 inch into mm so it will be 350 or uh, 373 and our od of 14 inch pipe is also 373 356 sorry 356 so 14 into 25.4 is 356 and od of our 14 inch pipe will also be 356 but below 14 inch our od doesn't matches with the nps suppose i am having a dn 100 pipe so its od is 114 but uh, its uh, NPS doesn't matches with the OD. But from 14 inch and above pipe sizes, OD matches with the NB of the pipe. Moving on to next, from which side of pipe you will take a branch connection in gas and steam? So this is one of the important question and a basic question that is asked in the interview. So if you want to take a branch connection in gas and steam, we will take it from top side. So this is for gases and steam line. We will take it from top side. Suppose if someone asks you, for water, water line, which side you will take? We will take it from bottom side. For water services, it is taken from bottom side. For gas and steam line, it is taken from top side. Next question, vent is always provided at, at which location vent is provided? So vent is pro always provided at highest point. Because suppose if you are doing purging in, a, in my system and if we want all the things to be removed from my pipe, so they should be, they should, uh, it should be at such a location that everything that is inside my pipe goes out. So it is always provided at the highest point. Moving on to next, where are weldolets and socolets are used? So what are the uses of weldolets and socolets? Where they are used? Weldolets and socolets are used in your butt weld and socket welded connection. So wherever we are having a butt welded connection and socket welded connection, especially for small dia, uh, less than four inches, uh, weldolets and socolets are used. So moving on to next, uh, what is the function of walls in a pipeline? So one of the basic question that an uh, interviewer can ask you, what is the function of a wall? Walls are basically fittings, but they due to their large use in the industry, they have their own dimensional design standards. So what is the function of a wall in a line primarily? So walls are used to regulate the flow, that is to control the flow. They are used for isolation. If you want to isolate our main line from the branch line, isolation purpose and for non return. If you want our fluid should not come back, so uh, walls are used in the line line so that is non return walls for isolation purpose generally gate walls are used for regulation purpose butterfly walls and uh, your glow walls are used and for non return walls non return purpose check walls are used so moving on to next 
which valve is not used for regulation of flow so this we have also covered in our video for valves so what is, which valve we do not use for the regulation of flow purpose so it is gate valve gate valve actually it has a, it have a, a soft seat uh, and the wedge in under the wedge and if we use for that uh, uh, regulation of flow purpose what happens the when the flow strikes with that seat that st seat start getting damaged and because of that the uh, walls become doesn't stay leak proof and uh, uh, it starts leaking so it it won't even even able to serve the purpose of isolation so it is not used for regulation of flow for regulation of flow either butterfly wall or your glow wall is used so moving on to next what is the minimum thickness of cs pipe that requires stress analysis to be done as per asme b 13.3 so minimum thickness is 19 mm so there should be minimum 19 mm thickness as per asme b 13.3 so that line can that line will be stress stress analyzed in any stress analysis software so let's see the next question what is provided in gas line to remove the condensate so if you are moving, going for any petrochemical industry interview or any steel industry interview so there will be a question uh, where do we provide uh, to remove the gas condensate uh, so get gas condensate is removed with the help of a drip port so why this condensate is removed this condensate is removed because if this condensate moves into my equipment this this moisture may destroy my equipment so that equipment in order to save our equipment we remove this condensate at uh, regular intervals uh, that is finalized while finalizing the design of a pipeline so let's see our next question so next question is expansion and contraction of pipe due to fluid temperature change and pressure can be compensated by so we all know that in the pipelines our lines may carry high pressure high temperature fluids so our pipes due to due to the temperatures due to that higher temperature and lower temperatures our pipes expand and contract but if that expansion and contraction is carried carried forward in the pipe so there may be stress induced stress induction in the pipe and my pipe may fail at a larger uh, on a largest node so to remove that stress concentration we use several things so that expansion and contraction in the pipe can be compensated so that is compensated with the help of compensators bellows and loops so loops you would have seen they are generally used for uh, steam lines you would have seen the in loops are used uh, the because steam lines due to high temperature and high pressure those lines expand in order to uh, because of thermal expansion in order to accommodate the thermal expansion loops are provided especially compensators and bellows they are also provided so that expansion and contraction of pipe due to high temperature or low temperature fluid can be managed so moving on to next uh, which gas is used for purging of gas lines yeah the very important question uh, during commissioning stage we used we need to do the purging of our complete system so we can't do purging with the help of, uh, with anything so which gas is used for purging of gas lines so purging is always done by two things either it is done by nitrogen or by steam why because of their inert nature if we do the purging by steam line it will again become water and uh, that water can be taken out of the line and nitrogen is an inert gas due to in its inertness uh, purging is done with is with done with nitrogen so let's see our next question what do you check before erecting of pipes on pipe racks so if you are going for in construction interview this may be one of the important question that interviewer may ask you we check before erecting the pipe we what we will check we will check the elevation of the pipe we will check alignment and we will also check welding welding is checked if uh, in order to check that my complete pipe has been welded properly alignment whether it is properly aligned or not and elevation is also checked properly so that after checking these things we give a move, move go ahead for the erection so let's see the next question which type of reducer is used at pump suction one of the important and basic question there are two types of uh, reducers one is concentric reducer and other is eccentric reducer so in pumps we use eccentric reducer with flat at top so why this eccentric reducer is used at pump suction so that problem of cavitation can be eliminated so we use eccentric reducer so let's see our next question what is a guide support so basically uh, in our pipe racks or while we route the pipes many types of supports are used so what is the purpose of these supports these supports are used to support the pipes so many supports like there are anchor supports guide supports free supports so anchor support uh, have a different role and a different function and it is different types of support free is one thing different and guide is different so what is a guide support guide support allows horizontal movement of pipe 
so basically guide support is like this if this is my pipe and i'll be having two supports like this this will be two two angles and my pipe we, pipe will be can move horizontally like this so it can move like this but it will move it will it will move within this within this angles only within uh, within this angles only so this is my guide support so moving on next so guys thank you thank you for watching the video i hope uh, some of the questions might have been prepared uh, because of this video so we will be bringing another video on this piping interview questions hope you would all see and succeed in your coming interview so guys thank you for watching the video thanks a lot